Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in a t-shirt. And today, I'll be breaking down some more of my favorite Canadian dividend stocks to invest in 2020 during this current market crash and beyond. In this video, I'm only gonna be talking about dividend stocks in Canada. I've already made a separate video on the best US dividend stocks, so check that out. These are stocks that I'm personally investing in during this market crash. And I pick these stocks because they all pay a generous dividend, they have a long history of increasing their dividends, and they are staples of the Canadian economy, so they will continue to be profitable and earn money even during a recession. These are all well-established and secure companies that you can rely on, although one of the stocks on this list is definitely riskier than the rest, so I'll be saving it for last. I picked these stocks from different industries, giving you a diversified portfolio of the Canadian market. And no, I'm not going to be talking about Canadian banks. I've already covered the banks in detail in my past videos, as well as my other favorite dividend stocks that I own, so click the pop-up at the top right to check out that playlist. These are stocks that you can hold onto for life and collect that passive income every month or every quarter. And now is an especially great time to buy these stocks at a huge discount, around 30% off. Investing during a market crash is a huge opportunity, but it can be scary. So make sure you check out my past video on how to invest during a stock market crash. So click the pop-up at the top right to watch that video first before you jump into investing. Basically, now is not the time to panic and sell stocks. It is an incredible opportunity to buy these top quality stocks at a huge discount. But before you put a single dollar into the stock market, make sure you have enough money saved up in your emergency fund, especially if you're worried about losing your job in these next few months. Also, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly why I think these are great choices. So I'm gonna be talking about things like dividends versus capital appreciation, the payout ratio, and the amount required to qualify for a drip. If you need a refresher on these basics of dividends, click the pop-up at the top right to check out my playlist, The Dividend Investing Guide, and then come back to this video. So without further ado, let's jump into part two of my best Canadian dividend stocks to buy in 2020. I'm not gonna talk about any banks this time, but I will talk about the financial sector, starting with our first stock, Manulife Financial, ticker symbol MFC.TO. Manulife is the largest insurance company in Canada. And like the big banks, it's one of the oldest and most established financial institutions in the country. It's been around for over 130 years. The great thing about Manulife is that they offer a huge variety of services and products. As you'd expect, they offer all types of insurance. Health insurance, either privately or through your employer's health plan, life insurance, travel insurance, mortgage insurance, and others. Outside of insurance, they also offer bank accounts, mortgages, credit cards, GICs, loans, and investing through mutual funds. In fact, they are one of the top 30 largest fund managers in the world. These insurance, banking, and investing services are always in demand, even during a market crash. Most Canadians have probably had a Manulife insurance plan at some point in their life. But Manulife is also very successful in the United States and in Asia with over 30 million customers worldwide. In particular, the expansion of Manulife into the Asian market has been so successful that they're actually making more money in Asia than they do in Canada, and this will only continue to grow. Because Manulife is always so consistently profitable, they've always been able to pay a great dividend. But with the recent drop in share price in March of 2020, Manulife is now paying an even higher dividend of 5.7% paid out every quarter. The stock has started to climb up since March, but it's still selling at a huge discount, about 30% off of its regular price. This is a fantastic opportunity. The share price has dropped by 30%, but the dividend remains the same, which is why you should invest now to take advantage of these great dividend yields. Even with such a high dividend, Manulife still has an extremely low payout ratio of 54%. That's amazing. That means that only about half of its profits go out to investors through dividends, leaving it with half of its net income to reinvest in itself and grow as a company. Because of its super low payout ratio, Manulife's dividend is extremely secure and likely to increase again. In fact, Manulife has increased its dividend every single year for the past seven years, which is exactly what you want out of a long-term dividend stock. Also, because of its reduced share price, it's now easier than ever to qualify for a drip. Remember, a drip allows you to reinvest your dividend and use it to buy more shares of a company rather than receiving cash. And the best part is, you don't pay any commission at all when you use a drip to buy these extra shares. This is the best way to invest in the long term, allowing your dividends to compound automatically, giving you true exponential growth. In the case of Manulife, you only need about $1,400 invested to qualify for a drip, which is awesome. But let's check the math. With a dividend yield of 5.7%, our $1,400 investment would give us $79.80 in dividends every year, or $19.95 per quarter. Manulife currently has a share price of $19.60, so every three months, our dividend would allow us to buy an extra share of Manulife for free, and then we receive the remaining $0.35 cents as cash. 
Remember, this strip amount is so low right now because the share price is so low. Once the share price recovers to its normal value, the amount required to qualify for a drip will also increase. So keep that in mind. To find out how I calculated the amount required to qualify for a drip, click the pop-up at the top right to check out my drip video, where I go over the long-term benefits of a drip, and I provide a useful Excel spreadsheet that you can use to calculate the drip amount for any stock you want. Looking at the stock price over the past 10 years, you can definitely see some ups and downs, but there is an overall upward trend. Every time it did drop, it was able to recover in a matter of months. Of course, the biggest drop happened this past March during the market crash, and this is a great opportunity to buy this stock at a price that we haven't seen in over four years. It will recover in a matter of time, and you'll collect that great dividend along the way. At number two, let's look at another industry which always pays reliable dividends, and that's the energy sector. I've already talked extensively about Enbridge, but another Canadian energy stock that I love is TC Energy, ticker symbol TRP.TO. You might know them as TransCanada Pipelines, but they renamed it in 2019 to TC Energy to emphasize the energy aspect of their business, but also to show that they operate across all of North America, not just Canada. They have a massive network of natural gas pipelines. In fact, they transport over 25% of all of the natural gas in Canada, United States, and Mexico. In addition to natural gas distribution, they also operate oil pipelines and electricity production and storage. They run multiple nuclear power plants as well as natural gas power plants to generate electricity all across the continent. This power generation division is always profitable and always in demand. Even during an economic crash, people still need their electricity, which is why this company can always pay such reliable dividends. You might be worried about its oil division since the price of oil plummeted a few months ago. But the great thing about TC Energy is that they don't produce and sell oil, they just transport it across their pipelines. So their profits aren't nearly as affected by the volatile oil prices. In fact, their pipeline revenue comes from long-term rate regulated contracts, so they're pretty well insulated from changing oil prices. TC Energy currently pays out a fantastic dividend of 5%, paid out every quarter. The stock is currently trading at about a 15% discount from before the crash. So even when prices return to normal, TC Energy still pays out a great dividend of around 4.4%. This dividend is extremely reliable because of its consistent profits, regardless of the economic climate, but also because of its solid dividend payout ratio of only 68%. This payout ratio is much lower than most of the other companies in the energy sector, many of which have ratios above 100%. This ratio means that 68% of its profits go out to investors, leaving it with 32% of its net income to grow as a company and finance new projects. This dividend is definitely sustainable, and most likely it will continue to increase every year. In fact, TC Energy has increased its dividend every single year for the past 20 years, and they are not going to end that streak anytime soon. So how much do you need to qualify for a drip? With a share price of $65 and a dividend yield of 5%, you'll need $5,300 invested to qualify for a drip. Let's check it out. The 5% yield will give you $265 a year in dividends, or $66.25 every quarter. That's enough to buy yourself a free share of TC Energy every three months without paying any commission. Looking at the stock chart over the past 20 years, you can see a remarkably consistent upward climb. There have been some notable drops in value, but it was always able to recover in a matter of months. Currently, we're in the middle of one of these drops. TC Energy has already started to recover, but now is still a fantastic opportunity to buy the stock at a great discount and take advantage of those boosted quarterly dividends. At number three, let's look at an industry which always performs well even during a recession, and that's utilities. And this stock has a very simple name, Canadian Utilities, ticker symbol CU.TO. I briefly mentioned this company in my last video when I talked about Fortis, another fantastic utility stock. Like Fortis, Canadian Utilities is a great defensive stock with consistent profits, reliable dividends, and the longest running streak of dividend increases in Canada. This is due to the fact that their profits come from long-term rate regulated contracts, so you can always count on this income no matter what is happening in the world. As you could probably guess, Canadian Utilities operates utilities in Canada. So they provide the transmission and distribution of electricity and natural gas all across the country. On top of that, they're also involved with power generation and storage, plus water utility services. No matter what is happening in the economy, whether it's a boom or a recession, people will always need their electricity and their gas. And so Canadian utilities will always be profitable. And so they'll continue to pay out and increase their dividend every single year. Currently, they're paying a great dividend yield of 5.25% paid out every quarter. 
This is a great time to invest since they're selling the stock at a huge discount, around 22% off of the price in March before the crash. Even with this large dividend yield, it still has a solid payout ratio of only 77%, which is in line with most utility companies. This means that 77% of its profits go out to investors, leaving it with 23% to invest by expanding operations and infrastructure. By far, the best thing about Canadian utilities is its consistency. In my past video when I talked about Fortis, I said that they had the second longest running streak of dividend increases. But the top spot goes to Canadian Utilities with a staggering record of 48 years. Canadian Utilities has increased their dividend every single year for 48 years in a row. That's incredible. They are the longest running dividend aristocrat in Canada. And in two years, they'll become Canada's very first dividend king meaning that they've increased their dividend for 50 consecutive years. There is no way that this company is going to cut their dividend and miss out on this historic moment. So buy the stock and hold on to it for decades to grow your passive income year after year. With a current share price of $33, you'll only need $2,550 to qualify for a drip. Let's run the numbers. With a dividend yield of 5.25%, your $25.50 investment would get you $133 a year in dividends or $33.46 every quarter. That's enough to get you a free share of Canadian utilities every three months, and it doesn't take a lot of money to get to that point. Looking at the stock chart over the past 20 years, you can definitely see some steady growth for the first part of the century, but over the last eight years, it's been pretty flat overall. Just some seasonal fluctuations, but no overarching growth. Again, this is a very defensive and well-established company. We don't really expect it to appreciate too much in value, but we can rely on it to always be profitable, and so we can sit back and collect those increasing dividends year after year. At number four, we move on to the real estate market, particularly the senior housing sector, with a REIT called Chartwell Retirement Residences, ticker symbol CSH.UN.TO. Chartwell is definitely the riskiest stock on this list. All the other ones are extremely secure, well-established, and can guarantee their dividends for years to come. But Chartwell is on thin ice right now. I'm taking a calculated risk with Chartwell because I do see huge growth potential, and I'll explain why. Chartwell is a REIT, a real estate investment trust, which is the collection of hundreds of real estate properties packaged together as a stock. And the rent from these properties go back to investors as dividends or distributions. Chartwell is a REIT which only focuses on senior housing. In fact, they are the largest player in the senior housing sector in Canada. Chartwell owns over 200 retirement homes and residential properties all across the country. The great thing about Chartwell is its diversification within this sector. Chartwell's properties cover every form of retirement housing, from independent living to assisted living, and even more intensive medical facilities, like memory care for patients dealing with dementia, and long-term care for patients dealing with chronic illnesses. With this variety, you get multiple streams of revenue. For independent living or assisted living, the residents themselves or their families pay for their own rent whereas the long-term care properties are funded by the government. It's nice to have both income streams. You get the stability of government funding, but you aren't overly reliant on government policies, which can change after an election. Currently, Chartwell is paying an enormous dividend yield of 6%, paid out every month. Chartwell has always paid a generous dividend, but now the yield is so high because the share price has dropped significantly. Since March, at the start of the crash, the share price has dropped by over 30% whereas the dividend has remained unchanged. You can look at this drop as a red flag, which is fair, but I prefer to look at it as a 30% discount, which is an opportunity that I am taking advantage of. So let's address the main concerns. As you can imagine, retirement communities have been devastated by this pandemic, especially since older citizens are far more susceptible to the virus. I don't wanna be indelicate, but the fact is occupancy rates are far lower than normal. Usually, Chartwell properties have around 90% occupancy, but now they only have about 85%. Unfortunately, hundreds of residents have passed away due to the virus, and obviously, there aren't any new seniors looking to move in during a pandemic. The government has announced additional funding to help during this pandemic, but it will only go towards long-term care facilities. Clearly, the company's revenue has been decimated, but on top of that, their expenses have also shot up. In this past quarter, Chartwell had to spend over $8 million in addition to its regular operating expenses to retrain its staff, purchase personal protective equipment, and install barriers and shields across all of its properties. Because of this, Chartwell recently announced a net loss for its second quarter. And so there is no dividend payout ratio for the stock since the company lost more money than it gained. I wanna stress this again. This stock is definitely riskier than the others on this list. All the other dividends on this list are extremely secure with solid payout ratios, whereas Chartwell is reporting a net loss. Clearly, its dividend is not guaranteed right now. It is possible that they might reduce this dividend, but as of right now, they're still paying that 6% monthly dividend. And even if they do reduce it from 6%, it should still be a good source of passive income. 
Up until this crisis, Chartwell had been increasing its dividend every single year for the past six years, so we'll see if they're able to continue the streak. Again, this stock is a risk. If you don't feel comfortable investing in it, I totally understand. Stick to the secure dividends I've talked about in my past videos. But I do see a huge potential for growth since we have an aging population in Canada. And with a huge variety of living options, I believe that the stigma against retirement homes is going away. I think that more and more seniors will be selling their homes at peak prices and using that money to live comfortable and exciting lives in these retirement communities. Obviously, this pandemic will force the senior housing market to adjust. But Chartwell is an industry leader, and they are well positioned to fill this unmet and growing demand. If you're still with me, and assuming that Chartwell's dividend doesn't change, let's see how much you'll need to invest to qualify for a drip. With a share price of $10, you'll only need $2,000 invested to qualify for a monthly drip. With $2,000, your 6% dividend will give you $120 a year in dividends, or $10 a month. That's enough to get you a free share of this REIT every single month. That's 12 free shares every year. Looking at the share price over the past 10 years, you can see a nice upward trend at the beginning of the decade, and then a plateaued over the past four years. And then in March 2020, the stock plummeted to almost 10-year lows. Again, this is a risk, but if you can handle it, I think this is a huge opportunity for growth. And you'll collect that generous dividend every month along the way. For all these stocks, make sure you're buying them on the Toronto Stock Exchange in Canadian dollars. Some of them are cross-listed on the New York Stock Exchange in US dollars. So to avoid paying unnecessary currency conversion fees, make sure you include the .to in the ticker symbol. And make sure to hold these in your tax sheltered accounts like your TFSA and your RRSP to avoid paying taxes on these dividends. If you're not sure how to actually buy these stocks, click the pop-up at the top right to check out my Questrade tutorial where I give a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to buy stocks and ETFs using Questrade, my favorite online broker. And if you'd like to get started with Questrade, click my referral link in the box below and you'll get $50 in commission-free trade rebates for the first 30 days when you sign up. That basically means that your first 10 stock trades will be commission-free. That saves you $50, plus I'll get a small referral bonus as well. So there you have it. Those are some more of my favorite Canadian dividend stocks to invest in 2020 during this market crash. Manulife offers a huge discount, a great dividend, and it's very easy to qualify for a drip. TC Energy offers an increasing dividend while tapping into the energy sector. Canadian Utilities is the most consistent dividend in Canada, with a dividend increase every single year for 48 years straight. And Chartwell is definitely a risk, but it comes with huge growth potential and an attractive monthly drip. Thanks for watching guys, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Every thumbs up and comment really does help me build this channel on YouTube, and hit that bell icon to be notified of my new videos every Thursday. And hit the playlist button at the very end to watch my stock pick recommendations and my Canadian Tax Guide videos. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, at Canadian T-shirt, click my link in the box below, or click the links on my homepage. Be sure to tune into my next video, where I'll be finishing up my RESP series, and I'll be talking about how to withdraw money to pay for your child's education. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a T-shirt. Bye guys.